The next concept we will see is elastic behavior of solids. Some solids exhibit the elastic behavior and some solids doesn't. So there are two types of behaviors that are possible for a solid material. First one is elasticity. Suppose if a body was applied by an external force, if you remove the external force, then the body is able to regain its original state then the behavior of the body is called elasticity. Those bodies which exhibits this property is called elastic bodies or elastic materials. So the ability to regain the original state of a body in the absence of external force is called elasticity. The materials which exhibits this property is called elastic bodies. Or materials. Examples for the elastic bodies. Best example is spring. Suppose if you take the spring like this which is in which was in a uniform shape initially. If you apply the force from any one end, automatically it will compress. Suppose if the force applied in the forward direction, it expands. Force applied in the backward direction from the back end, it will compress. After the removal of the external force, automatically the spring can regain its original state. Means it comes to the original length, original area and original volume. So, the spring is one of the example for the elastic body. Second one, sponge. We can see this sponge was a natural example in our daily life. So, if you apply the force on one end, if you remove the force, very next moment, sponge can regain its original state. Means, it comes to the original length as before, original volume as before, original area as before. So, like this, we can define the elasticity and the bodies which exhibit the same property. The next behavior of the solids is plasticity. This plasticity is also called inelasticity. The title itself states that plasticity is exactly opposite to the elasticity. So what is the meaning of plasticity? Suppose take one object which is highly strong and highly rigid. Once a force is applied on any face of the body, after the removal of the force, some objects they won't regain its original state. Means they won't come to their original length as before. They won't come to the original area as before. They won't come to the original volume as before. So once the deformation takes place means change in length, change in area, change in volume takes place, it will be permanently stored in the body. It is very difficult to regain its original state. Of course if, you, if we applied any amount of force in a greater magnitude, there is no possibility to regain the original state of the body. This behavior of the solids is called plasticity. That means if a body is unable to regain the original state in the absence of
external force the behavior is called as plasticity the materials or the objects which exhibits this plasticity is called plastic materials or inelastic bodies plastic materials or bodies the name itself says that one of the examples we can take in the behavior of plasticity is all plastic bodies if you apply a force on any plastic body there may be a cause for the deformation once the removal of the force happened there is no possibility to regain its original state these are the two major behaviors of the solids under the action of force so what is the differences between this elasticity and plasticity in elasticity deformation is temporary deformation means change in the magnitude of a body but in plastic bodies deformation is permanent it may be a small amount of force is applied the deformation will be in permanent so we can say that plasticity the same deformation is permanent the bodies which regains their original state in the absence of external force mostly we can say that those bodies are strong materials highly strong which has a long life and high many uses so mostly elastic bodies sometimes strong bodies except sponge type materials but in case of plasticity the materials are not that much strong very thin and delicate and that are useful for a short interval of time the strong body's lifetime is more a long lifetime this delicate bodies has short lifetime these are the main differences between the elastic bodies and plastic bodies if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus